All right, so y'all already know I had to come on here and talk about this. You may have already seen it because the reports are everywhere. Marvel has fired Bo DeMaio, who was a creator of this upcoming show, X-Men 97. And so, of course, the show's like literally about to come out. It comes as a shock. This comes as a shock to everyone. Um, people keep saying, people keep speculating, right? Because at the time I'm recording this, at least, you know, we have no idea why they did. But people keep speculating, saying, oh, well, maybe they fired him because of his OnlyFans or something like that. And I just don't think that's what it was at all. Y'all got to think like this is a couple weeks before the show comes out, right? Marvel fired him knowing that it would hit the headlines, knowing it would look really bad to do this right before the release. And they still did it anyway, right? Bo deleted all of his social media accounts. Uh, something would have to be really bad, in my opinion, for him to do all that and for Marvel to cut him off right before the premiere, knowing how it will look. I mean, they could have just released him after the season aired or something and played it off like, oh, well, change in direction. Uh, we let him go because of creative differences, but we appreciate his contribution, blah, blah, blah. Like, it could have been the usual, you know, industry standard. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could have been that, but they chose this route, and I think that communicates some kind of urgency. I don't know. I would love to hear what y'all think. Again, I don't think it was the OnlyFans because, number one, Hollywood Reporter said that the OnlyFans was, like, non-explicit. Number two, he had an OnlyFans before he was hired for all this. I feel like Disney's billion-dollar corporate ass would have definitely found that uh, if they gave a damn, and I don't think that they did. And again, it's 2024. I don't think that they gave a damn about that shit. <laughs> it just, it's not like he was working on Frozen or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people keep saying that it was his opinions on Marvel characters and arguing with the fans online that, that did it. But again, I don't think that's it. I mean, we're going to talk about this Sunspot situation too. Uh, don't worry. But you know, I don't think that was it. Like, I know DC is a different company, but James Gunn be online all the time talking shit with the fans. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think Disney knew all of this shit was going on. And if they had a problem, they would have told him to shut that shit down. And he did, I guess, at one point. Um, but, like, they wouldn't have hired him in the first place. You know, I just, I don't know. Let's dig into this Hollywood Reporter article real quick. Um, some viral social media posts and rumors and stuff. Let's do some speculating, shall we? <laughs> This article coming from The Hollywood Reporter is entitled Marvel Shocker, X-Men 97 creator Bo DeMaio fired weeks before premiere. Um, DeMaio, a Marvel regular, I'm skipping around. DeMaio, a Marvel regular who previously wrote on live action series Moon Knight, as well as early drafts of the company's delayed but still upcoming vampire thriller Blade, had completed writing duties on season two of X-Men 97. Damn, so he completed, season two was completed and was lining up press, making plans to attend the show's Hollywood premiere on March 13th. Like he was getting ready to get into it, okay? He was even discussing loose ideas for a third season with members of his team. But early last week, Marvel and DeMaio suddenly parted ways. His company email was deactivated and cast and crew were informed he was no longer on the project. DeMaio's Instagram account, once a source for X-Men updates, was deleted. No reason for the firing was given. Marvel, of course, had no comment. DeMaio's representatives did not return comment. Um, emails yielded no response. So, of course, it was a surprising turn of events on the eve of the show's March 20th debut. Uh, splitting with writers is a normal part of business for Marvel or any studio. However, obviously this is all unusual. Here it just talks about his original hiring in 2021 um, and him talking about his identity as a gay black man. I thought that given his comments on, his weird comments on whitewashing, right? really weird comments on whitewashing i thought it was interesting to have the added context that he is an adopted son to white parents um just just having that in mind as we 
have the conversation later on in this video about the whole sunspot thing right so his silence on social media has been acute as he was a prolific poster sharing x-men tidbits as well as shirtless pictures of himself at the gym here is where they say that his only fans was non-explicit um, but at times, social media had proven a challenge while making the series. In May 2023, DeMaio announced he would be deleting his Twitter account after he was attacked by users, even though I don't think that was no attack. That was just them critiquing, right? They were accusing him of whitewashing the character Sunspot with the casting of this Brazilian voice actor in the role but like i said i don't think that him going back and forth with the fans led to his firing i mean i already said it in the beginning of the video but he's been doing shit like this like i feel like that's an easily solved issue right just tell him to stop posting if you really had an issue with it just shut down the accounts tell him to stop posting and that's that right but i don't think it warrants this kind of crazy separation that we're seeing this dramatic separation and besides because we're about to get into sunspot Besides, Marvel has been whitewashing Sunspot themselves, right? Long before Bo was a topic of discussion. I mean, y'all remember the new Mutants movie, right? Like, so I don't think Marvel would fire him for defending doing something that they clearly are doing themselves, right? So let, let's just continue on about Sunspot because I think this reveals a lot about the way that Bo thinks. And, you know, later on, we'll we'll get into what one of his co-workers allegedly said about him. So let's just talk about the Sunspot situation. So let me show you what he said. So someone said, I shouldn't have to wait and see if Sunspot is going to be black, Bo. He's a black character. And then so Bo responds, so now you're erasing his Brazilian heritage in favor of him being just black? How does this work? And that's, I think that response is so disingenuous because it's just like the Sunspot character is both Brazilian and black. So the, the original poster didn't say only black, but he is a black, it, blackness is a part of him. And so when people see that shit being ignored, then of course it makes sense for them to critique it. And that's how he responded. Now, a little history on the character Sunspot. Originally, Sunspot is a son of an Afro-Brazilian who was literally born into slavery. Um, eventually, his dad um, became one of the richest men in Rio, but he was born into slavery. Uh, Sunspot's mutation was actually activated due to racial discrimination because he was visibly, right, Afro-Brazilian. <laughs> so race is an important part of this character, specifically his blackness, right? Switching articles real quick, the Direct said this, replying to a Twitter user accusing Marvel of whitewashing the character of Sunspot in Disney's mutant-centric show, DeMaio bluntly said, don't even, look who you're talking to, move on. So yeah, apparently this person said, so you're whitewashing now? And that was his response. Um, this comes as some fans took issue with the casting of Agostini as the biracial Brazilian mutant Sunspot, despite Agostini also being from Brazil, the actor has lighter skin tone than his character. Oh my God, this article. AKA, the actor is not Afro-Brazilian. <laughs> okay, he's, he's not Afro-Brazilian. Which is where uh, the whitewashing comment comes from. So following up on DeMaio's blunt response, another Twitter user pondered why the producer would have such a visceral reaction to what they called valid criticism, to which the Marvel showrunner retorted, it's not a valid criticism, it's an uninformed one. So the original poster said, it's unfortunate that this is how you choose to respond. I was looking forward to the show, but your behavior and response to this very valid criticism means I won't be tuning in. I'll be sure to tell my friends that our X-Men fans don't watch either. And DeMaio responded, it's not valid criticism, it's an uninformed one, and I will defend my decisions and my crew, which includes several POC who have experienced the same hate and hardship that the X-Men do. Um, they are not toys for you to debate. Like he goes on and on and on and on, even though in the beginning he was just like, oh, when he, when he first got signed on, he had said some shit like, oh, well, fandoms is a great test litmus test or some shit because they check your ego and i'm just like girl your ego got checked and you couldn't handle it either way let's get into some speculation just because and i wanted you to have how he responds how he talks to people how he thinks because this is the show you could be open-minded even if you don't like people's criticism um and even if 
Like, we just gonna accept that you giving a bit of coon to me, like, because <laughs> that's what it's giving to me. Um, even still, even if you didn't like what people are saying, you representing the show. Like, girl, just be like, okay, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Da 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 da. As simple, I hear what you're saying, right? Or or not responding at all, right? So, I just wanted you to have that context, like how he speaks to people, who he is, as we go further, right? So let's get into some speculation. There is a Tumblr post that is going viral. It's apparently showing old tweets of Matt D'Ambrosio, who was a fellow writer with Bo on The Witcher. Matt had some things to say, apparently, apparently about him, or at least people think that Matt is talking about Bo, right, in this. So um, this is what Matt said, apparently. If I were unceremoniously fired from a job for being both emotionally and physically abusive, I'd probably focus on getting help instead of constantly bringing up my involvement with said job. So, right, this is just one person, but one person that has worked, apparently, allegedly, with Bo on The Witcher. And people are just picking up context clues. They're saying, they're alleging, they're saying, right, that this could possibly apply to DeMaio. Now, we don't know. This is just one person, of course. But if this is true, then I would, I would understand the speed and severity of the firing if something similar happened when Bo was working for Marvel, right? Like if he was doing the same shit that he was allegedly doing at Netflix and he brought that shit over to Marvel, you know what I mean? And they just went through this whole, Disney just went through this whole debacle with Jonathan Majors. It's like, girl, we cutting that shit. <laughs> we are cutting that shit. We don't care. They would rather take how the weird blowback, how weird it looks to, to, to fire somebody, fire the creator before the show comes out, than to wait for something crazy to come out, right? And have to deal with Jonathan Majors part two. So this is just speculation, right? This is just speculation. Oh, and real quick, cause I almost forgot this because this adds to my, like, I really think this is this bow is giving tap dancer kind of tease because the Tumblr post I'm talking about, of course, the link is in my description box. Um, highlighted, also highlighted a tweet of DeMaio defending himself, killing off one of the gay characters that he created in Nightmare of the Wolf that animated uh, movie for Netflix. And he was the head writer, right? I guess he was asked about it and he said, yes, I did. Historically, programs sometimes progress in stages where the most different are killed first. Having a gay witcher be the first killed speaks to this historical trend. As a gay man, it was not a decision made lightly or just to bury the gay. And in my head, I'm like, this seems weird too to me, right? Because you have the ability as head writer to not follow this quote unquote historical trend that you said, um, but you you decided to do it anyway, right? So I don't know, this combined with the whitewashing comments that like defending whitewashing, um, all that shit is given very much tap dancing to me, it's given very much, you know what I mean? Coon teeth, like it's giving me coon teeth, right? And the fact that I know you are at these circuit, these white ass circuit parties, bro, <laughs> you got that nasty pig, um, what you call it, that cap on right now? Like I, it's giving me tap dancing, it's giving me coon, right? Either way, I think it had to be something way worse than any of that, right? Any of the tap dancing, any of the, <laughs> him arguing with fans online, I think it, that is not even why he got fired, right? Neither, as I said, do I think it's the coonery because I think these companies love coonery, right? I think something happened behind the scenes. He did something to somebody, so lawsuit coming or something, I don't know. Something we are not, so maybe something from his past or something he did behind the scenes while he was at Marvel or something. I don't know. I don't know. But this is my best guess right now. As I said, we're just speculating. I don't know this guy. I'm just going off of what we're seeing, right? We're speculating based off of, you know, how we know companies act, all that shit. All, how we know the industry works, all that shit. But what I'm saying is I would not be surprised if later on down the line, something comes out, something crazy comes out. And, you know, we're gonna look back at this moment like, okay, it makes sense. So I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong, but I don't know. <laughs> I have met people who have, I don't know, similar kinds of demeanors and responses is what I'm saying. And it's just, 
I just wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. On that note, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, do some speculating in the comments. Uh, love y'all so much, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Make sure that you're going to www.zaraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt. Uh, from my upcoming book so you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book the sequel is following up the first book that is already released called Zaraxia Wrath of the God King um, I released it a couple years ago a few years ago it was my really it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff so just go easy on me but either way as you can see here it's giving 4.9 stars. It's giving 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zaraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zaraxia, the vengeance of cold wind, right? And go to Zaraxia.com, sign up, join the wait list, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.